Today we are here at the Phase 1 Industrial U.S. office at Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport in Broomfield, Colorado. These series of workshops that we're holding here in our Colorado office is the chance for our customers and partners to give us really valuable feedback on our products and systems. We take this feedback very seriously for our new products generation. I'm very happy to work with them. I find that people are very approachable. It's a very comfortable working relationship. Today we'll be flying the Boresight calibration flight with our four band 150 megapixel aerial system, the PAS 150. We'll be launching a series of workshops here at our office to show customers and partners how easily these PAS systems can be mounted into small aircraft or large, such as the Fairchild Metroliner provided by Mountain Aviation here today. So at this point, um, only the controller is running. The installation is very easy. It only takes eight bolts to install both the DSM-400 and the bolt with the MK4, the cameras and the IMU. I can do it by myself, carrying both components at a time, and it can be made in 15 minutes, the most, including the connection to the power and the GPS. Today's setup is based on two of the new Phase 1 IXM RS150 cameras, incorporating a 150 megapixel CMOS sensor with the Reliance shutter. This system has two camera bodies, both with the RS 50mm lenses, but one focused specifically for achromatic use and the other for RGB. This setup ensures that the most precise focus is available for each camera body. With each 150 megapixel camera having a cross width of 14,204 pixels and a dynamic range of 83 dB, it provides more detail in low light conditions enabling more flying hours to be completed in a mission. The new Reliance shutter from Phase 1 was designed exclusively for the tough demands of aerial photography, no matter what aerial platform is used. With the RS shutter's capacity for half a million cycles, along with a fast exposure time of 1 over 2500 seconds, the fast frame rate of 2 frames per second enables faster flying, with customers executing and managing the most demanding aerial photography missions with much higher operational efficiency, reliability, and in a cost-effective manner. One of the things that Phase 1 has done for us, it's allowed us to get into the acquisition business economically. Uh, instead of going to a large format camera or to a metric uh, medium format camera that is, you know, in the million dollar range, has now gotten us into less than $100,000 to get into that. The PAS 150 that we are installing today comprises of the Aplanix 210 IMU that is lightweight at only 2.4 pounds, but has the capacity of recording raw IMU data up to 200 hertz. The fully stabilized mounts that we use is the SOMAG series, and today we are using the DSM-400 as it is capable of suspending three phase one medium format metric cameras in one mount. Okay, back to flying. The new Mark IV IH controller has the ability to control up to six phase one cameras, Requiring only a single 24 to 28 volt source from the aircraft, the Mark IV IH controller will power all the PAS components, including the pilot and operator displays, mount, IMU, FMS, cameras, and data recorders. The combination of the IXM RS150 aerial cameras, the innovative technology of the Reliance shutter, stabilized mount, and IMU, the Phase 1 aerial system really is the leading edge of aerial mapping acquisition today.